Alright guys, this is a coaching session for Ozone. This is currently, I believe, <laughs> level 18. It could be level 19, possibly 20 by now. We don't know. But the development of players in that area is amazing. It is quick. So don't judge. Okay, we're watching a turret game. I would go potions. Better potions. I like biscuits. Biscuits like me. They taste good. We're going super speed unless something happens. Okay, right, like, okay, don't tank for your jungler. If you are gonna tank, tank one hit no more, okay? So tanking's okay, but don't do more than one hit, because now, look at your health in your lane, like, you can't trade on two people down 200, 300 HP. 200 HP. You don't have runes yet. You don't have runes yet, I'm assuming. Um, yeah, so, that's whatever at this point, but definitely don't tank more than one hit for him. What is this lane? We've got the Bard jungle. The Trindomir support. Also, under tower, try to help your uh, your ADC last hit. You had a stack that you could have used on that one too. Almost. It was close. Uh oh, he's going sneaky when your stun's on cooldown. Just run right out the other way. Oh, he, he did it. Run. I want to go back there. You flash. I think you were fine to get away. You should have been fine anyway. You had... well... You did kind of get minion blocked. I don't know. But that was really awkward with Twitch going out there like that. Honestly, like, the thing about it, you shouldn't have let yourself get to that health to begin with. What is he doing? Twitch is on drugs, man! The fuck did he live? He didn't even heal. I, I, I need to go back. There's a lot of things that I need to explain here. I'm gonna go back. Okay. This is like... This is... <laughs> Everything I'm watching is just like straight dumbfounded at this point. Let's go back. Uh, let's, I'll, I'll start over here. Lock. You've got a good point, man. Okay, so your stun is on cooldown. When your stun is on cooldown, your ADC should not look to trade. Whoa there, bro. Is it you or is it Twitch? Uh, it's mostly Twitch. He's like trading while your shit's on cooldown. Every time you use your abilities, he tries to go in solo afterwards, and that's a really big mistake. So starting this lane off, don't tank damage for your jungler other than one hit. One hit helps. Don't sacrifice your lane for like multiple hits. You are not their tank for jungling. They are their own tank. If they can't tank it, that is their own problem. 
But tanking for your jungler, you're giving up your own lane to help them. And that doesn't do anything for you in solo queue. Right here, you just need to recall at this point. How much gold do you have? If you would have got one of those minions, you could have upgraded to Targans. Uh, you can wait for the gold, though, so it's not going to be bad. Staying with this health and mana, you don't want to be here. Both enemy bot laners recalled. So recalling right now is what you need to do. Twitch needs to freeze the wave while you're gone, and you are just auto-attacking, pushing the wave. So you're making a bad call by pushing the wave on him, because now he has to do something. He's got a last hit, and he's still got to push the wave forward, and you're not going to... You don't have any health or mana to do anything with, right? So you don't want to push when you're low health, low mana, and they already recalled. So let the wave free... Oh god, here he goes again. Okay, so that was good. Waiting for Trendomir to commit before using your stun was good. And now they're in a big wave, they're trying to, uh... They're just basically, you know, the wave's hitting minions, it doesn't do anything here. Twitch, press fucking E! He doesn't have it! Ah. <laughs> oh god. What the fuck is happening? He's maxing W. He's got two points in Q as well. He doesn't have E. yet? Come on, man. I mean, it might be his first game Twitch, but I don't think he even is looking at the abilities and what they do. Like, what does W do? Does it just take a point off the cooldown? That's it. Okay, we're back. We got targets. We got Boots won, we're ready. What do you got? You don't have stun. Twitch is looking to go aggro. You've got stun soon. You guys can do something. Get him. Oh, the fucking heal! Twitch, press fucking heal, you piece of shit! You don't have one, you suck! You fucking suck! This is where you flame in all chat. My Twitch sucks at League of Legends. No, oh, really. Um. <sighs> Does he get it before six? I'm worried now. That's a level seven Casio. Goodbye, dead sneak. Wait. Okay, he almost made it out. It was close. He has three points in Q, boys. He does not need this ability. Reminder, we're not coaching Twitch. Good point. Good point. I will stay focused. Be very careful because you are about to die. She dies the turret. No, she doesn't. Twitch threw his W instead of... Oh, God. Not like this.
Okay, so right there, you had exhaust. You needed to use exhaust, exhaust immediately. There was no reason to let him uh, be under tower without using it. Please, Twitch. Please stop. Wait. What is your. What are your. Where's. She wanna stop. Guys, he at least took ulti at six, okay? This is, okay, so this is a true level 18 game. This is not Smurf level 18. Just so you guys know. Oh, you can kill him. Oh, he knows what his R does. How dare you? That's a freebie. <laughs> oh, just run, just run. You don't want to be in there. Getting that stun was good enough. You didn't, like, all you had to do is be in range to use your ability and then just run away. You, you stayed too close to her. That's not a fight that you want to take after getting that second kill, so just run for your life. Here comes the Cassio R. Very nice. Nice pick. Okay, so Sightstone should be your next buy as soon as you can. Uh, when you get Sightstone, make sure you're buying Sweeper as well. What do you have? You have... Nice, very well played. The ulti baited him in, and he just got screwed. Yeah, Ozone, you, uh, what I was saying about saving your jungler, you didn't have to position over here to do it. You could have done it from, like, right here. So just direct your stun down, like you're playing off him. Pretend you're using your abilities off him. And Actually, how does it work? Do you have to point down here? Does it aim towards your mouse? I think it does. Do they both aim the same way off you, or does it aim towards you? I don't remember. It's been a while. Aim towards mouse. Okay, so stand here, aim your mouse down, and just, yeah. You don't have to go over here to do it. Just run away. worse <laughs> and then they get it <laughs> oh god <laughs> literal fucking 1 HP man holy shit uh. Oh boy, I I don't know, man. The tower, like somebody probably would have died for the tower, but getting the tower is pretty important. Fuck, man. He's got three points in Q, three points in W. Look, another tower. 
Oh no. <laughs> Go to the fire tunnel. Uh, no, he doesn't have E yet. He's level 8. Okay, so that tower was a lot of fucking tank here that anticipated. Um, okay, let's go back. I want to see if you had ulti. It's all wet. Leave it outside then. Take it back outside. Oh wow, you only hit it for 12 damage. Holy shit. I know, baby. Take it out. Just leave it outside, okay? I love you. Okay, so walking up like that, man, your best bet, like as soon as you saw you weren't killing it right away, press R. Just ulti. Um, you should have the health bar of the tower up to see how much damage you're actually doing. Uh, just watch it. If you're not doing much damage, ulti. Just ult, protect yourself. Mm. Oh no. Okay, so you did good. You built face of the mountain. You've got uh, you got your sights and you built your sweeper. Very good. You've got the build that you need right now. I would go straight into the locket next. They've got a decent amount of AOE between Zaya and Cassio, and Bardados and Yasuo's shit. Um, you can't really make a play on this. Right? Oh, you can. Wait, he's not linked. Oh, but you got. There's somebody in here, isn't there? No. Yes. No. Trinor died. This Trinomir? Trinomir didn't die, he went in the bush. <laughs> See? I was watching. <laughs> uh, unfortunate, but. Like, all, if Trin stayed here for this, they probably could have turned it on you guys, too. Yeah, man, you gotta be careful what you're walking past, so check brushes and stuff. You are sitting on Sightstone, so if you're over here, just throw the ward in there to make sure. You can just go hit that fucking tower, man. Just do it. Uh, Trinomir will kill you, actually. Wording takes a long time to understand, because your play style, like, you're probably not looking at the minimap at all right now, down here. But later on, you're gonna be playing the minimap most of the game. Warding is hard, so in lane for ward protection, just standard ward protection, you want to ward their tri-bush if you're pushed up. So you want to ward here, you want to have protection like either up here or here, so you know if people are rotating throughout their jungle and into the river. Honestly, man, like if you really want to learn warding, I've got a good warding guide out that you can look at. It's, uh, it's on YouTube, you can check it out, it should be pretty helpful. Oh, that fucking creep auto death. Rip. Wait, I'm gonna go back. I 
I, you were dead regardless. There's, there's no way you were getting out. I was gonna say you were sitting on one stack of Q, but if you stop, you get out of. I should go back and watch the whole thing though, what you guys were doing there. Yeah, so right here, Twitch is like being really stupid, man. I would just leave him. Yeah, so Twitch got you fucking killed. Yeah, the three Q. You you had a single stack of Q, which would have saved you for the minion auto, but Bard would have killed you. Playing around this Twitch though, man, he has no idea what he's doing. Uh, he still does not have a point in E at level ten. Like that is really really bad. I wish you could click teammates in game and like look at their ability leveling. I really wish you could. That would be very nice. Yeah, Twitch is supposed to max E. Most of Twitch's damage comes from E. Well, a lot of it anyway. Oh shit! Okay, you guys got Harold. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back. You get the free stun. Like when you do that, if they got if they go into the bush and you're sitting on sight so Drop a ward in there. Keeping vision for your team to fight is really important. Uh, okay, you, okay, so you've got to expect Cassiopeia to have ulti, right? She's walking up, she's walking up, she's looking to do it. You've got to press R when this, this skirmish is happening. So if you got your R off, some people may have lived there. Like, Fizz did live, but if you R'd sooner, your R would have came, uh, or popped, like as soon as Yasuo's ulti came down, and it probably would have saved at least another person. So as soon as you see her walking up to commit, that's when you go for the ulti. Yeah, you just waited a little bit too long. Because once you're stunned, there's nothing you can do. Other than that, like, just stand back a little bit, and don't be facing her. One thing you can do against Cassio is you can, like, if you know or expect the ulti, just click behind yourself a little bit, It'll face your character away, and then you only eat the stun. Or the slow, not the stun. So if you're not facing her when she ults, uh, she's basically Medusa. So you get slowed, not stunned. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's all good, man. Like you're Learning characters, it takes a long fucking time, man. There are a lot of champs in this game. There are a lot of champions in this game, and it takes a very long time to learn everything. What are there, like 140 some now or something?
Level 11, no E. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, if you want to ping, like, what's what's summoners? If you want to ping somebody's summoners, uh, you press tab and you just click on their abilities. Like, say they use flash, you just press tab, and while the tab menu's up, you click on their abilities that are there. Got locket. What are we going for next? I think you're following my itemization order that I gave you. Yeah, there's a lot of things to learn about the game, man. There's so many. So many. That is really good so far if you can finish him off. Very nice. Just needs to be careful. Okay, get all the secure. Wait, what? Fizz, you were ulted! Maybe he doesn't know what it does. He probably doesn't. Okay, you guys have, what, two dead? Oh, and use your locket. Did you just use your locket? He did. Okay, act active items are a whole new animal, man. Like, they are fucking. Like, it's just more shit to stack out of the pile of things you need to learn. Typically, you time your- you try to time your active items. You try to time your active items to counter, uh, enemy abilities. What happened here? What did we do? I'm gonna go back. I'm, I'm talking instead of watching. Okay, you're going for inhib. As soon as you get inhibs, you should run. So this play here, that play was a mistake. The, fi the fish dropped off. You guys need to run. Wait, how's that fucking stun begin with? Yeah, so like, you get the objective, and they're disengaged. Just walk away. In situations like this, in situations like this, you just you take the free objective and you leave. There's no reason to stay whatsoever. You guys are all low, sitting on almost no mana. You can ping your team to walk away. Yeah, the active items took a long time for me to remember. There's so many things you've got to work on in this game. It's a real struggle. So right now, your team's doing a major objective, and you guys are, like, chasing Trindamir. And so far, from what I've been watching, this Anivia has no idea what they're doing. And I would kind of walk away. Uh, Fizz is 20 and 5, so you press tab, you look at your team's scores, you can look at who is doing well and who is not, right? 
So you see Fizz is like really fucking good. He's really fed. Or from where you are, he looks like he's doing really well. So maybe trying to play around him is what you want to do. So if he makes that shot call uh, to go to Baron, you should be there and follow him. See, he's using fucking active items. And then he's eating and flashing out of shit. Like, Fizz is a smurf. He may not be a great smurf, but he's much higher than level 18. Yeah, just stick with him. You gotta keep your umbilical cord connected to him at all times. Don't tear it, don't break it. He is your baby. Guard him with your life. <gasps> you broke the tether. He's a child alone in the world. You made a mistake. I want to go back and see what you were doing. I think you dropped a ward. Hey, we got one. Hey, you do click actives. Your sight stone is an active. You used it right there. It happened. But yeah, man, like what I do, I try to get my actives on keys that I will use. So for Sightstone, I put it on one. For Face of the Mountain, I put it on two. Locket, I put it on three. And all these keys are right above the keys that you're pressing, like the QWER. So they're really easy clicks once you practice them. Oh, you don't click this hot key. Fizz is going to straight up carry this game as long as you're with him. He's full build minus this thing. How much gold does he have? 2K, so he can just finish that. So, okay, so here, you use your ulti at a good time, but Fizz isn't playing to trust you for what you're doing, right? So when you're sitting here fighting, you had your W as well. Um, okay, so your ability rotation, you want to, like, if you're leading with stun, you're going to walk up, you're going to stun, okay, and then you're going to, what are you going to do next? What's, what's best rotation? You're going to stun, you're going to eat a little bit of damage, you're going to Q to get that damage, and get reset your passive, so you get two. And then you're going to shield again. You're going to, well not shield again, you're going to shield, you're going to use your W then, instead of Q. And that should bring your, your Q cooldown back, with at least, like, with one stack, right? You should get one stack. So you Q again, and that should bring up your E again. So really work those passives, you got to be focusing a lot on the, the passives. So if you go into practice mode, or... You can just play it in normal games, because these are just normal games. You're just trying to level anyway. But practice rotating and cycling your passive and making sure it's always up when you're fighting somebody. Yeah, man, there's, there's a lot of things that are going to take a lot of time, man. It's just another thing on the list, really. Twitch got two kills without pressing E. Oh my. 
They are backdooring your base. Not like this. Wait, you have a TP. Birdly. What the? Yeah, that was a good ulti there. You kept your team alive. Fizz is going a little too Rambo right now, though. Point of base sitting? Never base sit as utility support. If you are utility, whether it's Tarek, Janna, Soraka, Karma, don't be the one sitting back. You don't have great wave clear. You need to uh, let somebody else do that. up here fighting. So they got caught out. I don't know what they're doing. They might be... No, they might be pushing mid. I don't know if Fizz is going to fight, but that bot wave is building. There's two supers in it already. Okay, they went for Dragon instead of Baron. Oh, Baron's not up. Never mind. I don't know what I'm thinking. That's not good. He threw his fish. Okay, so right here, at this point, if this is what you say is base sitting, this is fine. You should be on base anyway because your team's dead. So falling back when your team's dead is really important. However, I'm going to go back because, however, you should have rotated here. Your team's over here, your team's trying to defend. Like at this point when shit's going on, you've gotta be here. You've gotta be here 100%. So that fight, you had ulti, you just weren't over there. And right here, um, this is okay sitting back. Fizz is leaving. When you have people dead, somebody does need to hold base, right? But if they're five alive and you're on base, that is not the correct uh, place to be. When they're dead and you're, like, somebody needs to hold, it's okay to do it in that circumstance. But that's it. That, that's it. Okay, Trinimer's down. You guys can do Baron. But you are fucking stuck. And Twitch is farming. I don't know what. Twitch went full melee. He clicked the ground instead of attacking. That's unfortunate. So now, once again, it's back to you and Fizz. There's only two people alive, so you guys should be able to defend. Uh, Fizz is definitely smurfing, but there's a problem with his build. He doesn't have any pen.
That was a very nice place stun and a very nice place for Fizz to come down. The good thing is about Yasuo, he's the one person that doesn't have magic resist, so that made that fight much easier. Basically, this is just Fizz 1v9 for the most part, man. Fizz actually knows what he's doing. Oh boy. 1v9. That was helpful. Hey man, you helped suck. You did some things. Okay, you've got your ulti, you're gonna save the day. Very nice. But like, the thing about Fizzma, he's not even playing with your ulti. He doesn't care. No fucks are given. He's not using it. When you ult, he still uses his Zanyas. He just runs the fuck away. You guys could have ended here. What are we doing? Hit the Nexus. Hit the Nexus. Hit it. Yell it. Reset your autos. Go, go. I see the passive working. You did it. But yeah, man. Um. Fizz hard carried this game without Fizz. I think you guys were kind of boned. Uh, Yasuo and Cassia were playing pretty decently. Zaya was doing okay. Zaya was doing a lot better than your ADC, and their support Trinomir, not really great, but he was playing to split push his Trinomir. So it was, <laughs> it was kind of awkward, man, but you guys pulled through the end. Yeah, the, the Twitch didn't know how to use his champion at all. He didn't level his all three abilities. Like, there's almost no way to win your fucking lane if you don't have all of your abilities. I don't know. Unless the enemy does the same thing. But, Ozone, practice getting wards out when you're in lane. Uh, look, at, Watch my warding guide, man, on YouTube. My warding guide on YouTube will help you with ward placement a little bit. Uh, you need to be able to protect yourself in lane. I don't know if you look at the minimap at all, but if you have wards out, you have a little better vision, even just on your screen. Even just on your screen, you'll have a little better vision if you have a ward out in the river or something. Um, but you do need to practice on the warding, practice on the active items. Uh, focus on what objectives are on the map. And objectives are towers, dragons, barons, rift heralds, stuff like that. But other than that, man, just like just keep practicing, keep playing games. It's not gonna all come to you in one day. It takes a very, very, very long time to learn League of Legends. But uh, just keep at it, man. Try to have fun. Try to have fun. If you get too critical with yourself, you're going to get all anal about the game and then you'll fucking dislike it or hate the people you're playing with because they get pretty fucking troll. Pretty ragey. <laughs> 